Today's video is sponsored by Amino. Amino is an app that has communities based around games, hobbies, and other interests. You can find me on Amino by searching Hatmaster in the Users tab, and you can find the stories I've been uploading. I just uploaded a story that shows how to play Fafnir in Duel in 60 seconds, and it shows his build, his playstyle, and just tips and tricks with Fafnir, all summed up in 60 seconds. In the top right of my profile screen, you should see a follow button. Go ahead and follow me if you want to support me. If you want to join Amino and support me, make sure to use the link below and also to follow me on Amino. If you search for Smite in the Communities tab, you'll find Smite Amino. I recommend joining. Hey everybody, I just want to start this video off by saying that we have some new thumbnails for the series. Um, a fan came out and reached out to me. He's actually this guy in my Discord, Arts and Hugs. He he reached out to me and he said he wanted to do some thumbnails for the for the Guardian Gauntlet series. And I I looked at the two thumbnails he sent me. They were really really good. And I thought that was really nice of him. Uh, I would want to pay him. Unfortunately, I can't because of college. You know, college I'm saving up for. And but he he said he wanted to do it as a donation. So. So he said the only thing is that he wants to be credited and of course I will credit him. He's going to be in the description and I'm going to go back in all the videos and credit him as well for all the videos we use his thumbnails in. So go check him out. They're really good thumbnails. There's also some Easter eggs in the thumbnails that he put in which I thought were cool. Oh shoot, I'm late. It's Chernabog. Okay. Chernabog is like one of the worst hunters in Duel, but... His attack speed is pretty good against gods like Kumba. Now, I like Chernabog. I've always liked Chernabog. I thought his design was so cool when he came out, but everyone hated hated on him and said he was boring. Well, I thought Chernabog was a cool guy, but no one ever agrees with me. And just because he's one of the worst hunters in Duel does not mean he's one of the worst gods. I think, I'm pretty sure I said hunter earlier, right? That's what I meant. Because at the end of the day, he's still a hunter. He's still going to... And they do tons of auto attack damage. Good as I believe the flying minion damage there. Look at that damage though. Most of that I took from the wave. I enjoy playing me some Chernobog. I haven't played them in a while. Alright. Okay. Okay. This clear is exceptional as well. Okay. I don't want him to get this. Use some potions. Don't let him get his passive proc, please. Can focus him instead of wave since he's somewhat low. Okay, run away before he gets his one off. He has beads, he does not have bracer. So if I hit level 5 and ult him, he could be in a world of trouble. Right now, he still has his combo up, though. For his one, at least. Now, the thing about Chernabog is he can recall and then come back instantly. So, it's, like, worse than Apollo. You know, Apollo comes ults back from wave, but Chernabog can do it instantly. So, that's probably... If I was him, that's what I would do. But, obviously, he is not me. Okay. Okay. Did I get hit by that? I guess I got hit by that. So I either want to keep him from backing or something like that because I know he's out of potions and I feel like if I can try and poke him down now, he will die. Okay, guys escape, he's pretty much out of mana. Some of my minions are out of range of that, that's good. He only has auto attacks right now. Auto attacks are enough for him. Okay, we need to keep him from backing. No backing. No backing. Alright, I guess I should start backing. Because if because if he backs before me, he's going to get the red buff. If I back before him, then he has to walk back and we'll get here about the same time. Which is fine. Use the camera fling trick. Okay. I think we actually out clear him this time. I'm just going to use my ult just for the heck of it. Because it'll be back up pretty soon. Oh, I can almost kill him. 
That is tough. Oh, now I can't even back. Oh no, he's an ult over here. I need to get out. Please don't ult, please don't ult, please don't ult. No. Oh. Yeah, see what I mean by he gets back instantly? That sucks. I couldn't back because the wave. That's actually frustrating. That's really frustrating because I almost got away too. Uh, I should have probably just backed before him. Tried to do that strategy. But then that would just give him red. Shredderbog almost always gets red. Because if he, you outpush him, he'll alt back and kill you. And take red. And if he outpushes you, then, you know, he's just going to take the buff anyways. Just like you would normally do. It's like a super Apollo. I've always liked him. Oh, no. Please don't kill that. Oh, no. Oh, I don't want to lose to Shredderbog. Look. Shredderbog, I've been on a lost streak in the Guardian Gauntlet, okay? You gotta give me a chance. I am three losses. Lost to Sobek, lost to Kuzbo, lost to Kuzbo again. Now we're on Kumba. I lost to Sobek twice. I'm actually on a four lost streak. Oof. Sucks because Kuzbo was supposed to be our checkpoint. Kumba Karna is not as good as Kuzbo. So. This matchup's good, but if I lose this one, then we're probably going to fight an OP god, so we really need to not fight this. I'm um, not lose this. Why are you standing still, buddy? Now, should I poke him or clear the wave? Poke him. Let's just play wave. I'm going to try to use my abilities off cooldown just for some poke. Unless he does that, of course. Uh, we are 800 gold behind. That's not too bad. Okay. I've always thought about trying special blessing on Kumba, but I he doesn't have as many mana issues as like Fafnir, so I think he can benefit from the damage of Mage's blessing while not suffering from mana too much. Oh, great. He's at Bancroft's. Okay. Need to get out. If he gets his combo here, I die. Okay. I'm dead, anyways. There's no way I get out here. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. No, come on. It's so funny because on stream, I used to talk about how. It used to be that whenever I recorded a full gameplay, it'd be an awful, awful game. So to the point where I wouldn't upload it. This was before I was doing the Guardian Gauntlet. And then on stream, I'd have amazing games. And recently, oh no, on stream, I'd have, yeah, on stream, I'd have, a, hold on, I'm getting, I'm getting confused. No, 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 okay. It used to be on stream, I had really bad games. And for YouTube, I had really good games, right? And that was kind of what used to happen. And I think it switched. Now on YouTube, I've been having some really bad games. But on stream lately, I've been having some incredible games. Some games that will go on YouTube, but I need to edit. I need to get that time to edit them. Holy moly, those auto attacks. That left click is too strong. Two of my abilities do nothing. This really sucks. Chernobog with a snowball is nasty. He still walls very hard because of his ultimate. When Chernobog ults, all of his cooldowns reset, by the way. So when he ults me in tower, I knew I was dead because my escape was down. There's nowhere, you know, no way to, nowhere to, for me to dodge his one. Uh, all right, let's just recall. How much health do you have? He's going to go for my blue buff, probably. I guess I'll get one of these. That Devos is healing him so much. Devos is the better start if you don't get killed early. And he's almost has a fully stack, so it's a better start. He's been stealing all my buffs, too. Yeah, he can just dodge my stuff. Uh, this I don't like this. I'm not having fun right now. I'm not having fun. What? Okay, all right. I guess I missed it. Probably by, uh, I flicked my mouse a little bit. I feel like that should have hit, though. Are you recalling all the way over there?
Pokemon. I think he's going to ult back, so I'm going to try and get into a position where it would be bad for him to ult. Oh, maybe he's not ulting back. Also, I read a lot of the comments. I will hold wave when I need to. Like right now, this isn't really holding wave because he's just coming back, but getting one extra last time is helpful. That's half my health. Oh, we got Shoguns, okay. You did not get Genjis. How much damage am I even doing? He's been getting over half. Yikes. Yikes. Your middle tower is under attack. I lost this game big time. Maybe I can come back. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. I'm three levels down. If I get the return kill, you know. I'm not having fun right now. Okay. I really was hoping I wouldn't have to go back to Kumba after that amazing play we had with the last Kumba game because I know that Kumba is not as strong as the others. However, you know, it's a slight game. It has some merit. What is that attack speed? 2.41? Oh my god. I know his attack speed steroids is 70%. Oh, I guess he's recalling after every wave now? Okay. That's fine. His attack speed steroid is 70%. He's about to get execution online. Then I'm going to get shredded. Sucks because I need Nimian, right? But... The thing is that Kumba's cooldowns are so loud that Breastplate is way more helpful. Is he going to dodge this? No, he doesn't need to. He's healing more than the damage I'm dealing. <laughs> this is not fun. You're holding left, left click. I'd say I'm dodging about 60% of his autos, but it doesn't matter. I'll get a Thorns. And I'll also get Breastplate. I can't get Nemean. I need the cooldowns too too badly. Kumba's whole thing is just CCing you to death with tons of damage. And without full cooldown, I can't do that. Like, I need my ult up as much as possible. I need to be able to use it, like, two to three times in a fight. And, of course, you get that. It's a quarter of my health, while two of my abilities did... An eighth of his health. And he's back to full health again. Okay. Anti heals a must, but I can't get it online yet. Is he gonna ult to me? Maybe. I think he's gonna recall and maybe ult to me. So until that blue buff comes up, I'm gonna sit here. Nope, I guess not. I thought this blue buff would come up sooner. I thought he took it immediately after red last time. No? Okay. This is the opposite of fun right now. Okay. That lifesteal though. Now he's going to take it. No? When does it come up? How long ago did he take my poop up? Okay. Watch the second I recall, it's gonna come up. Start working on Divine the Room. I don't think I should go Obsidian. He does not have that much defense. Should probably just go some flat pen items. Since Spirit Magus is not that great here. Oh, you got Bold Demon. Okay. Oh, great, you blocked me. Okay. This is so, like, I cannot do anything. Look at this damage. Your middle phoenix is under attack. He's just ignoring me. Like, he doesn't even have to fight me. This is sad. Like, I, this is just sad. Is he not gonna go for me? Dang. Uh. 
You hate to see these kinds of games, right? It's like there's nothing happening except for me slowly losing. I'm on a four loss streak. This is not good. Until I get my fine rune, I can't fight him because he's healing up more than I'm damaging him. Plus, I don't have any pen. And Chernobog shreds Titan. Is three looks ahead. I'll get the Titan to heal, I guess. This is so dumb. <laughs> New Titan sucks, man. New Titan sucks. This isn't even a good game. Nah, I'm, come on, man. Oh, these games are getting to me. Five losses in a row on the Guardian Gauntlet. If I have to go back to who's before Kumba, isn't it Kepri? If I have to go back to Kepri, no, it's Yorm, isn't it? No, wait, I don't remember who it is. I don't remember who's before K Kumba, but either way, this is gonna suck if I have to go back. He didn't even leave a GG. Oof. Okay. Oh, I'm trying my best, you guys. All right. I know, okay, I, I can predict what some of you are going to say, so I'm going to address it now. You probably won't even see this part of the video because you already commented. No, Nemean would not have helped me more because Kumba without Breastplate is a sitting duck. I'll use my one and then he just kills me because I have no ability. I, I need that Breastplate of Valor in order to, ref in order to uh, have my cooldowns up. And it's only a five protection difference, so the amount of damage he was dealing to me would have still been the same with Nemean. It's a five protection difference. That's not that much. I would have been dealing some more damage to him with Nemean, but you saw how much health he had, and he was, would have just life stilled it up. It would not have mattered. Uh, Midgardian has less protections than Breastplate. It's not that much of a difference, but also, again, I need the, the cooldown. All right, thank you guys for watching.